nowadays with so many options available to you when you graduate as a lawyer, uh, litigation seems the poorest of those options because you, it, it involves a lot of investment, of time, of money, um, a lot of patience so that you can just move up in the profession. Um, how do you think this, the, the, the message that should be addressed to these individuals who are going to come out into the profession to bring them towards litigation if they so wish? I look at this slightly differently. I would ask the question, how would litigation become more attractive to young lawyers? I would say broadly in two ways. One, I come back to my pet theme of time management. What puts off many young entrants to the profession is the spectacle of lawyers hanging around in the courts during the day, often without substantial work having been achieved and then having to work in the evenings for late hours because the day hasn't been constructively utilized. So firstly, I feel that if we start managing our time in the courts better, young entrants would not feel that a lot of time is being wasted during the day. Secondly, I think, and this is already happening, they should be assured when they join of a reasonable remuneration. Of course, the remuneration which an individual litigating lawyer can offer to junior entrants cannot match what law firms would offer and those lawyers who come into litigation are generally prepared for that. Mm. If they have other expectations for family reasons, they don't come towards litigation. So they are prepared to wait. But it often happens that when they join a chamber, they are not told how much they are going to get. Right. They wait for one month, sometimes for two months, see if their senior is happy with them, with the quality of their work, and then see what their first check is like. Today, I don't think there are seniors who don't pay. But I think those who take on junior advocates owe a duty to the juniors to tell them in the very beginning that this is what they would be offered. This is what would be the increase after six months or one year. These are the extras which they can hope to get. Because after all, people come from middle class families, from lower middle class families. They need to assure their parents that they are going to be self-sufficient even if they don't start making fortunes in the beginning. They don't want to take money from home once they have graduated. So I think all of us seniors need to be a little more professional about this. Do you think it's a good idea for somebody who wants to try litigation to come first up to the Supreme Court, especially if he's not from Delhi and doesn't have a base here? Or should he go to a civil court or high court in his own area? I have often been asked this question. 
and since I started in the Supreme Court, mm. I always feel a little diffident mm. about giving an answer. But the answer which I ultimately give is that no, it's not a very wise thing mm. to start in the Supreme Court. You must get some exposure, if not in the lower courts, at least in a high court, preferably in a high court with an original side. Mm. But not all high courts have original sides. But I think a little experience in the high court, even two or three years, would be very, very useful. But of course, the Supreme Court also needs juniors. <laughs> so one can't put off everyone by saying, don't come to the Supreme Court.